What's up everybody? It's Kevin back with another reaction video. We are today going to do the song The Crown by Dimash. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. I hope I enjoy it, but uh, we're like six for six with the Dimash songs on this channel, so I have no reason to believe I'm not going to enjoy this one. Uh, I am going to make sure that the uh, closed captioning subtitles is on, and uh, let's get to it. <laughs> So uh, eight seconds in, I gotta pause it. So composed by Luke Pan, um, I'm not gonna pronounce that name because I don't want to disrespect this person. But um, uh, I had referenced in a previous video about the piano, um, uh, the the person playing the piano in a couple of uh, Dimash songs was someone who I had seen in a couple other songs uh, by Dimash. And uh, oh wow, the education lesson I got in terms of the comments section. So thank you for everybody who actually was able to mention this artist, uh, or this composer I should say, and uh, how he was retired actually, from to my knowledge anyways, based on the comments, uh, that this was a retired composer who actually came out of retirement to work with Dimash. And apparently he's a very successful composer, so um, pretty pretty cool and a kudos to Dimash for uh, for getting this guy out of retirement to um, to work with Dimash and uh, obviously they have something that works for them like I said the piano really kind of like gets to me it's really uh, one musical instrument that I really tend to enjoy a lot uh, so the fact that this guy is working with Dimash really speaks volumes to uh, to Dimash in general and uh, and the abilities and talent of somebody like Luke, Luke Penn uh, so pretty cool gets me excited to see his name here at the bottom uh, and uh, let's continue okay uh, I, I guess we'll backtrack just a wee bit even though we were only eight seconds in <laughs> Um, man, I, I hate to, to pause it so quickly here. Um, <laughs> so sorry about that, everybody. But uh, I really like the lyrics so far. Love is a thorny crown. Why hold on to such pain? So yeah, there's there's a lot to that. There's like a double meaning there too, because when you're holding on to, uh, you know, um, a flower that has some thorns, you could cut yourself, you can hurt yourself. So why hold on to such pain? You hold on to that too long, you're going to hurt yourself. Uh, there were some really good lyrics here too. I'm just going to backtrack a little bit. Infatuation um, brings despair. I mean, uh, to have that infatuation with somebody, uh, it's not healthy sometimes, but uh, sometimes it can be. It depends. Uh, so I guess uh, that's a pretty good lyric too. And um, bitterness brings turmoil. So again, there's like three lines in a row there that really kind of resonate with me uh, and, uh, and and really make me think bitterness does bring turmoil it's uh, you know we got to let go of things and I, I in my personal life have a tendency to focus on the negative sometimes so uh, maybe something like this hits me in a different way because um, I can relate to some extent so um, really good lyrics here I know at the beginning it said the uh, the um, uh, the the lyrics and who who wrote them? Sorry, I can't remember the name, but it doesn't look like this is a Dimash written song. However, I uh, he, he's singing it like it's his own. And that's something that Dimash has the ability to do is to take something that could be a 30, 40 year old song, if not longer, and kind of make a spin on it and make it his own. So uh, really powerful stuff right here. Great lyrics. And uh, we're going to continue. <laughs>
seems like he's probably going to start the next verse, so this is a good time to stop. But there's some really powerful lyrics here and some double meanings, too. Uh, when he's talking about entanglement full of twists and turns. I mean, I think that's the... Uh, when I think of entanglement, I think of kind of like... Um, uh, I guess it has different meanings to many people, but you can see like uh, uh, certain types of, uh, of uh, flowers and plants and things like that that kind of, uh, you know, uh, intermingle and twist and turn together. So I kind of like that um, he's able to say that like an ancient statue living in a museum. I mean, you got this like beautiful beautiful thing uh such as like an ancient statue and it's uh it's kind of living in a museum for everybody to see but it, it doesn't doesn't move it, it stays there uh he's talking about memory like a web of um you know like a web and uh and how if we live in the past it kind of keeps us keeps us in the past right or if we have that that crazy memory uh where we think of all the negatives or things of that nature there's there's no you know, that web keeps us there. So we need to grow a little bit. And also talking about the dust being kind of um, uh, so beautiful or so lovely. I can't remember the exact term he used, but, um, you know, this dust, you go to a beautiful place and there's dust everywhere. And there's something kind of unique and, and awesome about that, too, because uh, even though you can tell that nothing has been done in that room, <laughs> if there's a lot of dust on things, um, there's that that memory of what it once was. Right. So. Um, pretty cool stuff. I'm really liking the lyrics here. Obviously, the the singing and everything is is fantastic here, as usual with Dimash. But um, definitely a lot to the lyrics in this song, and uh, a lot more going on in this song uh, than I had expected. So really beautiful stuff. Oh, these uh, songs before we get to the end because it just switches to the next song so uh once again another total win for dimash here great song i am so truly happy that i, I have discovered dimash and that you guys were uh, after the first dimash song you guys were so vocal about me sticking with dimash and listening to more because uh, what a talented individual. Uh, I love music in general, so it has, you know, I don't care if it's in English or not. So it really does help when there's lyrics at the bottom, such as here, where I can follow along in the song and not just um, kind of react to the the uh, sound in general, but also the lyrics. And this is one of the most powerful of the Dimash songs I've heard in terms of the lyrics, or at least the lyrics in this song really resonate with me. So uh, really like this song, really like the theme of the song and uh, and everything about it in general. So uh, really happy I did this one. I will continue. I know that you guys have recommended a lot by Dimash on this channel, but there's just so much out there that uh, basically whatever, you know, as I do more Dimash on this channel, my YouTube tends to recommend stuff. So every time I see something by Dimash, I just sort of put it on my watch later playlist and uh, eventually get to it. So I'm really happy I did. Uh, I don't know if I saw too many comments recommending this song. I'm pretty sure I saw a few. Uh, and happy I, I got to it and, and will continue, whether you guys recommend them or not. Uh, <laughs> Dimash's catalog will be uh, very, uh, you know, will, will, will be pretty extensive on this channel by the time we're done with it. So really good stuff here. Hope you guys like this as much as me. Really like the song. And uh, hope you guys all have a fantastic day. And I'll be speaking to you all very, very soon. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.